Okay, welcome to this uh, session. And uh, we were discussing about the XML. Now we discuss that what are the various building blocks of an XML document? XML document banane mein kya kya building blocks hai kaise banega? So we have the building blocks like the elements, jo aapko malum hai ki wo tags ki form mein nazar aayenge, main uh, heading ki tarah use hote hain aur angular brackets ke beech mein aayenge. Then we specify certain attributes. So when we define certain element, we have to make use of certain attribute. Attribute is something which will have some value, but it will be defined inside the element tag itself. Now the third entity is th those components of uh, XML, which are defined using some text. So if you make use of a tag and place some text in the tag, then that is nothing but the entity and to the other things can be less than less than equal to greater than greater than equal to all these symbols are tags so we'll be making use of those tags also inside the dtd to define an xml document and of course there are two different kinds of uh, data one is the pass character data and the other one is the character data so if some data is there which we do not want to which we do not want to get passed through machines machines se jo read nahi karana chahte we can have c data for that data type and others will be uh, will be named as the pc data so let us take a, a look on all these things one by one so here you see if you specify in some angular bracket this is nothing but a element element with respect to the xml the same thing which was called a tag in html now the second thing was the attribute and of course you recall that attribute is something which is given a value in single quotes or double quotes so here in this example we have taken src is equal to double quotes of uh, computer.gif file name so we can mention in a single quote also so this is nothing but the attribute so we'll be making use of an attribute while defining an dtd the third thing was entities and entities are all those symbols less than less than equal to greater than and other symbols which are having some meaning in xml also so double quotes single quotes ampersand and the two angular brackets now we have already discussed about the pc data and the c data so let us move to the next page now you see here the first thing is the declaration of elements so element has to be declared as angular in within the angular bracket we have to mention sign of exclamation followed by capital letter element then the name of the element and followed by the category of that element so we have to mention the category that is hash pc data or hash c data after the name of the element if it contains some value and if the element contains some nested elements then we have to mention it as the pair of parentheses containing comma separated elements comma separated elements so we can declare the elements like this if we do not have any text within the element what we can do we can have the keyword empty after the name of the element so if you do not have a value to element to some elements we can specify empty data type like in case of brace or brackets or a break now elements with past character data let us see the name of the element followed by the pc data hash pc data inside the pair of parentheses so if you place the p hash pc data 
in the parenthesis after the name of the element it means that it is a pc data type for example from is having a pc data if you recall from in case of the email or message from one person to another then from will contain some text and that text needs to be passed because it will contain an email id from as well as to both will contain the emails therefore they have to be passed character data it could have also been c data if it is a simple letter rather than an email now the next is elements with more content so if you have some content which cannot be defined as a pc data we can mention the data type as any so this means that that particular thing will contain any number of characters any set of characters and therefore we cannot bind them into one and therefore the data type is any now if the element has some ch child elements if the element contains sub elements also this means you have to mention it comma separated elements child elements and here you have a node which can contain two from heading and body so if a node contains uh, more than one element in this case it is two from heading and body that means node will have a sequence of child elements and therefore comma separated elements now this example is nothing but the corresponding dtd of a note so if you have a note from one person to another what we can do is we can mention it uh, using these uh, mention it using these data types so note will contain multiple elements and these elements all have been taken up as the past character data types now declaring one occurrence of an element now this is a crucial one if you have a single occurrence of an element within the element then we have to mention the name of the child element itself so this means that is there is only a single occurrence now if we talk of occurrences you have read it in regular grammar also while we were discussing the the compiler construction that if you mention if you mention a plus after the name of the element that means it is one at least one or more occurrences of this so one or more is specified by a plus sign plus character and zero or more is specified by a star so if you place a star after an element this means it is zero or more occurrences and if you place a plus after a element name it means one or more occurrences and we have already discussed in the previous session that if you place a question mark after an element this means either it will be there or it may not be there suppose we are to mention the product details of a e commerce website then the discount the discount can be present as a question mark in the dtd because if it is available it will be there in the uh, xml file and if it is not available it will be not present in the xml so question mark can be used like this now if you have a content which can be replaced by some other content so in that case we make use of a vertical bar so vertical bar is the one which is above the enter key in the keyboard keyboard mein enter key se upar wali key par jo hai vertical bar hai shift ka button daba ke aati hai so if you place a vertical bar between two elements that means either you mention message or you mention the body so in this case we have these two uh, elements as optional one of them should be present fine now declaring the mixed content so if you have a mixed content means that note will contain all these but with a star that means that there can be one or more uh, zero or more occurrences 
but all the data is may or may not be present in the uh, note element so this is how we can uh, declare all the elements in the dtd i hope all of you are able to understand how we can uh, create the dtds with respect to the elements now i am moving to the next section which is the dtd attributes now this one is much more interesting now let me add people okay so when you are declaring the dtd attributes then the first thing is how an attribute declaration can be done so if we have an element and further we have some names of attributes also included in the element then they have to be defined like this the attribute name attribute type followed by the attribute type and lastly the attribute value so data type so this means if you have an attribute list you have to mention by a double t list so it is an attribute so att list for example we have a payment the type is c data that is character data and we have attribute value also so check means that we will have the value of this attribute as check because the last content is the attribute value so if you have more than one values you have to mention by vertical uh, bar so you have to separate those values by the vertical bar or if you have a set of values you have to mention it into the set within the parenthesis so it has to be in, in a list also now here you see an example you have done so for this ex, uh, a pay, uh, xml code say payment type is equal to check this means that the payment the element name payment element name payment has a type type is the name of the attribute and the value is check and this check can be uh, thought of as a c data so c data means the character set data now other types of attributes can be now this is the enumeration from which you can choose one it can be id type also it means that it will be a unique number unique value in that particular xml file if it is id reference type this means that it is unique but for some other attribute or some some sorry some other element fine now id references f if it is references that means it is a list of other id references of elements next one is the m token m tokens entities notations etc so these are the uh, different data types of the attributes and the values which the attributes can take are they can take a value either it will be default value that is double quotes value we have taken up in the example or it will be a required attribute required attribute means we cannot skip this attribute from the xml file implied attribute it implied is that it may or may not be present in the xml file and the last one is that it is fixed and it has a value so fixed and having some value means it is a similar to a constant data type of c language fine so this is how what we can do is we can define the attributes now for this xml we take this example now square width 100 so square is there and width is 100 so this means element square is there without anything because it is empty means that it does not contain any other attribute uh, other element and the attribute list the attribute list of square att list of square contains width that is width and it has a c data that is a character data uh, which is equal to 100 so we have to mention here 100 instead of 0 it should be 100 fine 
Now, if you specify the width, width of the data, and here, if you take zero, that means there is no default value. The def it has a default value as zero. And if you specify some other value, it will be taken up that value. Now, the second one is the required. So it means that the that particular value will be required if you have a number is equal to something and this number is very very important for the XML now you can mention that it is a required attribute you have to mention it in the XML now if you take implied it means that particular attribute may or may not be present if you take a fax number fax may or may not be present in all the offices therefore we can have either present or not also present so implied and the last one was the fixed so if you have a fixed value for example you have seen that sender company is something and here also we say uh, the sender company is something so here we mentioned the attribute list of sender of sender element is company company uh, attribute is there and it remains fixed because once you send an email it the sender remains fixed you cannot change the sender so you have to mention hash fixed and the value here it is from microsoft so in this way you can uh, specify the attributes and the last option is enumerated attribute values when you have certain set of values and out of these the attribute may take one so here if the payment is say by by check or by cash then what we do is we mention that the payment uh, attribute is having a type uh, check or cash and here by default it will be cash so this is another way of uh, specifying the attributes inside uh, the the dtds now again the question comes that uh, uh, whether we should use the elements or the attributes and here we see that if you have if you have the xml document containing certain attributes you must mention it using attributes and if you have the xml document not containing attribute only the elements then we have to mention it with the elements only uh, you have this all of you are supposed to take up a snapshot of this window and you have to mention the corresponding DTD for this XML document so if you assume that this uh, annotation which I specify you while you visit your uh, group you see this particular annotation you take on the snapshot of this page and your assignment is to write down the DTD for this XML page. So that's all for today's class. Thank you very much. Please share your idea, views regarding the class and the problems you are facing in the chat box or you can mail me or text me in my personal WhatsApp window also. Thank you very much.